ओके सो वी विल स्टार्ट टुडे ओके सो द सो टुडेज कॉन्सेप्ट इज द शोल्डरिंग एंड ब्रेजिंग दैट यू आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन द मॉडल नंबर फाइव ओके द शोल्डरिंग the intro the shoulderings and the bridgings these are the both uh, two different methods which are been used for joining two dissimilar uh, work pieces okay so both are having the operational principle difference okay but uh, <coughs> these are some of the uh, well one types of joining methods okay shouldering and the bridging are the joining methods with the help of the filler materials okay which are been used for joining two dissimilar methods now first we will see the shouldering the introduction to the shouldering the shouldering is a group of joining a process okay uh, used for the join similar or dissimilar metals so, see so far in the welding whatever you have seen the welding in that welding only the similar metals we can join or you have seen but in the shouldering and the brazing you can join two dissimilar methods okay if the metal is having the different properties or the alloys okay and the different types of metals that can be joined with each other by the shouldering and the brazing method <coughs> by means of the filler metal those melting temperature is below 450 degree celsius over here the filler metal is been used which melting temperature is below 450 degree celsius so which are the filler metals they are using the filler metals usually called the filler metals usually the filler metals usually called as solder and is an alloy of a tin and a lead in various proportions okay now the following of the molten shoulders so see the filler materials which is uh, in the welding and uh, normal processes of the welding you have seen so far there it is called as an electrons electrode okay now over here the filler material in the shouldering is called as a shoulder okay the name for the filler material is given as a shoulder in an and it is made of an alloys of tin and the lead in a various properties okay the tin and the leads are the major contents which are used in the filler materials okay by adding some different types of alloys to get the various properties so keep in your mind the filler material in the shouldering is called as a shoulder and it is made of the tin and lead alloys okay to get the desired properties the flow of the molten shoulder okay over here the more they are not using the word filler metal over there they are using the word shoulder okay the flow of the molten shoulder into the gap between the two work piece is by the capillary action so see what the flow of the molten the molten means what the liquid form of or the melt shoulder the flow or the movement in the shouldering between the gap is been done by the capillary force what do you mean by the capillary force a capillary force is nothing but a pulling force drawn the molten filler that is on shoulder between the surface of the parent uh, metal parent metal means what the base metal this is known as a capillary action so see when you put one drop of water when you put a drop of water or or two three drops of water on a flat Uh, what you can say the flat surface. What will happen? The water starts to move further. Okay. Or if you put an water on a hollow surface, what what you can see that water is going at a downward directions. Okay. So the flat surface or a downward direction. This the movement of the water is done by the force generated by the base material on which it is been formed. okay this types of force which makes the movement of the liquid is called as an capillary action okay that action is called as an capillary actions now let us see the types of shoulder a shoulder is an alloy which melt at a low temperature okay it doesn't require the high temperature like a liquid 3000 4000 degree celsius within 400 500 degree celsius the shoulder can be 
melt now let us see the two types of shoulders are there soft and solid shoulder so everybody have seen the shouldering you have seen the shouldering how the shouldering is done the if you are any tv or any electronical gadgets which is been under repair okay when you go for the electricians to repair that one so whatever the un uh, what you can say the damage diodes resistance whatever the electrical circuit parts are there that has been removed out and that circuit parts are been joined uh, within that electrical circuit by the means of shouldering okay over there you can see there are two types of uh, uh, what you can say the filler materials they are using one is on paste type that is called as a flux <coughs> sorry another one is a lead wire which is a thin wire which has been capped on the tin of the shouldering gun okay and then it is melted and it is used for the joining like this is the soft and the hard shoulders there are two types of shoulders are been used okay these are alloys of a tin and a lead so in a soft shoulder what is happening these are the alloys of tin and lead so tin and lead alloy mixture is been used the lead is 37% and its tin is 63% okay so this is a soft alloy they have a low melting point range from 150 degrees celsius to 190 degrees celsius within this range they can melt easily okay soft shoulder a very small amount of an autonomy usually less than 0.5 is something that added to increase the mechanical property so in this alloys 0.5% of the properties to uh, alloys are been mixed so that mechanical properties hardness ductility toughness whatever the properties are there mechanical properties of that shoulder can be improved okay by mixing 0.5 uh, alloys to whatever the property you are required required according to that property that particular alloy is been added in there in this mixture but in an additional should be control otherwise additional should be control otherwise which might be impair shouldering character so extra alloy should be avoided okay only the limited percentage of the alloys is been added so that it will may disturb the shouldering characteristics now next we can see the soft shoulders are used in those applications where the joint is not subjected to an heavy load and a heavy temperature so see this types of soft shoulders are been used where this joint of that metal or that jointed assembly where it doesn't goes for an heavy load and the heavy temperature okay the joint which is working in a light load and a in a low temperature for that such type of uh, joint the soft shoulders are been used now next we will go for the hard shoulder the what do you mean by the hard shoulder the hard shoulder a silver alloy with a lead so see over here the silver is added alloyed with a lead for example the lead is 97% and the silver is 2.5% or a silver alloy which or a silver alloy with a copper and the zinc okay if the silver is mixed with the lead if the copper and the zinc both are mixing with the silver okay the silver 50% copper 34% and zinc 16% are called as an hard are called as an hard shoulders okay so this is what the alloys of the hard shoulders now you can see over here the melting point of the hard shoulder range from 300 to 600 degrees celsius because obviously it is in a hard condition and used to making a strong joint that can resist the high temperature so this type of shouldering is done for a strong joint which can resist which can control the high temperature so you are understood between the difference between the sharp shoulders and hard shoulders sanket can you hear me sanket so see uh, those who are going to participate you have to admit them ah because you are the ho because you are the ho <coughs> host so they will uh, the admit to, uh, this one will come for you only so you have to admit them okay 
now next uh, we'll go for the surface cleaning and the shouldering flux so see what do you mean by the surface cleaning so before going for the shouldering the workpiece has to be cleaned and uh, what is the surface how to clean that we are going to see and what is on shouldering flux the flux is also used over here for avoiding the oxidization oxidization and atmospheric contaminate to enter during uh, within the molten mat uh, molten shoulders or the slag which is generated over there okay the capillary action wettability wettability means what in the liquid form uh, uh, what you can say put uh, complete the whatever the joint is there that is an in a wet condition okay is achieved by proper surface preparation so see over here the welding and the shouldering where has been used which is the part to be joint it should be wet okay totally wet condition should be occur over there for that reason the flux are been used and how it is to be done that we will see is achieved by the proper surface preparation and use for a suitable flux for so over here the flux is been used for wetting that area okay and the cleaning the surface to be bonded the flux is been used for wetting the surface and to clean the surface to be bonded so see when you do the construction of your any of the building or the house you are taking a cement and the bricks so before using that bricks the bricks are been wetted over there it has been dipped into the water and it has been kill, uh, cleaned or before applying the cement that wall has been also been applied by the water so that it can contain the moisture and it should be wet so that the cement can uh, what you can say get uh, stick to that wall properly so like this way over here also whatever the shoulders you are going to be used to joint before that the particular area or the joint should be wetted okay so how, how it is been carried out let us see the surface preparation includes through the cleaning of the workpiece surface to remove the contaminants like okay <coughs> in the surface cleaning what are the uh, things to be do okay you have to remove the contaminants like oil which has been on that surface <coughs> sorry rust okay scale scale is nothing but the different types of layers of the dust okay whatever the paint is that that is called as scaling paints and other impurities either mechanically mechanically means what by the wire brush wire brush the thin metallic brush or abrasive techniques etc or chemically by soaking or cleaning or acidic etching okay by chemically or mechanical by mechanically by the brush or an abrasive any of the sand if you take on rough on that one so it will remove the contaminants or chemically by pressing on soda uh, soaking okay that is on soda water or sanitizer if you can use cleaning or aciding uh, acid is been used for cleaning the surface once the contaminants are removed the next step is to select the suitable flux a soldering is shouldering flux is a substance either in the liquid or the paste so you have when you go for the electrician shop you have seen the flux in a paste form paste okay there are uh, some paste is there which is applied on the shoulder gun and it is placed over the uh, the joints which is to be given okay then afterwards some small lead is been kept on the shoulder gun then it is uh, placed over there and it has been melted over there okay it is maybe in a liquid or semi liquid semi liquid means what in a paste form <coughs> state the metals during the preheating stage and spread over the joint area okay the wetting it and protecting the surface from the oxidization the flux also cleans the surface and dissolving the metal oxide so okay so the flux so see over here the flux plays a very important role over here the liquid semi uh, semi liquid states that melts during the preheating stage and prepares over the and spread over the joint area okay it's spread over the joint area wetting its okay it wet its okay and protecting the surface from the oxidization what do you mean by the oxidization when the wet surface come to the contacts with the atmospheric gas the chemical reactions occurs due to that chemical reaction occurs whatever the metal parts are there they undergoes for the oxidization just like an corrosion okay if you have seen the corrosion some of the shutters metal shutters for the shop homes okay <coughs> 
जंग जंग टू नो दरला जंग हो जंग धरते दैट इज नथिंग बट द ऑक्सीडाइजेशन वेन द वॉटर फॉल्स ऑन द वॉटर फॉल्स ऑन द मैटर पार्टिकल्स वेन इट कम्स टू द कॉन्टैक्ट टू द एटमोस्फेरिक एयर ओके वेन इट्स कम्स टू द कॉन्टैक्ट टू द एटमोस्फेरिक एयर सो द केमिकल रिएक्शन अकस द रस्ट ऑफ द करोजन स्टार्ट दैट इज कॉल एज एन ऑक्सीडाइजेशन ओके and thus the flux also cleaned the surface and thus the flux also cleaned the surface and dissolved the ox metallic oxidization dissolving the metallic oxidization so that flux removed the metallic oxidization so different types of flux include a rosin okay alcoholic zinc chloride allen phosphate etc are these are other different types of flux which are used been used in an shielding the flux may be applied on to the metal surface by brushing dipping spraying so you can apply the flux in the metal surface by putting in brush or dipping the metal into that flux or spraying that flux on that particular metal by any other method okay it is very simple for applying the flux okay this is what the cleaning and uh, surface cleaning and the shouldering of the flux now we'll go for the types of shouldering so there are different types of shouldering methods are been used few of them you are going to study now the shouldering methods are classified on the base of the mode of an heat application so see the shouldering method has been classified or you can say differentiate different methods how it has been differentiate or been classified according to the heat generation source so so obviously so how the heat is been generated to melt the shoulder on that basis the name of that method is been kept or the uh, uh, the methods are been differentiates now first one is in shouldering iron method second one is in torch method third induction and wave method this we are going to study now the shouldering iron method it is the most common and the widely method used for shouldering so see each and every electrical shop where you are going to repairs your electronical gadgets such as tv fan etc etc where the electronical circuit is been joined or the wires are been joined by the means of the this type of shouldering method that is called as a shouldering iron method okay so the tool used in this method is a shouldering iron with a copper coated tip with a copper coated tip due to a good conductor of an heat which may be heated electrically <coughs> or by the oil gas flame the tip of the shouldering iron the tip of the shouldering iron tors or conducts the heat from the heat source to a component being joined okay the surface of the workpiece are been cleaned through to uh, through to remove the contaminants the surface of the workpiece are cleaned to remove the contaminants okay then what happens the flux is applied at a joint okay it may be in the liquid or semi liquid type the shouldering iron is heated with a suitable temperature okay and the little shoulder is melt at the tip of the shouldering iron okay the shoulder iron or the shouldering gun which is been heated it is been allowed to heat when once it is been heated there is a small copper tube is there at the front on that front uh, there will be a small tip will be there on that tip a shouldering i uh, this one what in the shoulder is been melted over there okay the tip of the shouldering iron is called as an bit bit it is brought at the joint and the molten shoulder is been deposited over there if the shoulder is placed on that tip it will starts to melt okay that is called as a molten shoulder which is been deposited on that tip okay that is been collected on that tip the molten shoulder flows into the joint by the capillary force just now told what is the capillary force the shoulder cools down and solidified from the joint the joint is cleaned to remove the flux residuals in order to prevent the corrosion now let us see in the diagram what is this one so you can see in the construction this is what the workpiece and the these are the two workpiece which are going to be joined over there this is called as a shouldering joint this is called as a shouldering joint over here you can see this is an 
gun that is called as a uh, shoulder iron handle okay over here at the front there is a tip is there okay and this shoulder iron is connected directly to the power supply now how does it work so see the power supply switch is been on and allow this shoulder gun or the shouldering iron handle uh, iron to heat when the shouldering iron is heated over here there is a copper tip is there which is a good conductor of the electricity okay which is a good conductor of an electricity in which the copper tip is been heated and a thin shoulder of an alloy tin or the lid is been placed on this tip and it is made to melt over there when it is been melted the liquid uh, a small uh, drop of that uh, shoulder is been deposited on this tip before this what they do the flux is been applied on the joint where it is been used that flux is been preheated then it is been melt over there then afterwards this molten shoulder is been placed on this one and make the joint by the capillary action the shouldering iron comes with the various ranges ranges 15 watt or to over 400 watt so see this shouldering iron or the shouldering guns the range they have given that means 15 watt to 400 watt means what it can holds this capacity of power supply in it okay from 15 watt to 100 watt okay the advantage of using the high wattage iron is that the heat can flow quickly into the joint okay if you are using a 100 watt shouldering iron so it can consume more electricity and produce more heat okay into the joint so that is why if you are using an uh, you should use an high side uh, uh, range high range of the shouldering iron or the rating the shoulder uh, small irons are used small irons are used to making a joint for a small electronic components only small irons are been used for making a joint for small electronic components that just now i've told the whatever the tv circuits your telephone uh, this one uh, what you can say telephone circuits also and even mixers whatever the oh, micro ovens whatever the electrical gadgets you are using in which the circuits are there for joining that circuits these types of uh, shoulders are being used now you can see the torch shouldering and the wave shouldering so see simple is there in spite you over here the sh torch shouldering is nothing just like an you have seen just like a gas welding it is also the torch shoulder utilize the heat flame used by the oxygen and the fuel gases over here the heat is generated by the oxygen or the fuel gas fuel gas you can use as an acetylene or the hydrogen with the mixture of an oxygen okay it is a su in a suitable proportion and burnt the mixture at the tip the flame is generated by the torch is directed towards the workpiece with the flux applied on the surface so see these types of short uh, torch shouldering is been used for uh, higher kind of workpiece just for the joining uh, the brass materials okay or the copper materials or the copper vessels or the cylinders for making the joints of this this type of shouldings are been used so see how does it work the torch is been uh, exposed or you can say the fire flame is been exposed on the surface where it is to be joined that is been preheated advanced heated then afterwards at the hot surface which is going to be joined the flux is been applied in the powder form or a liquid form then that flux will be totally melted and cover that area then afterwards what they do a thin, thin rod of a tin or the filler shoulders okay of a tin or a zinc alloy or a silver alloy is been used and kept on the front of the torch where the flame is coming by the mixture of the oxygen and the fuel glass the fire frame which makes the filler metal to melt that is a shoulder to melt okay and that liquid uh, melted uh, shoulder is been kept uh, into that joint and it is been allowed to move within that joint by the capillary actions and after some time the flame is been reduced over there and makes that liquid uh, shoulder to cool down over there this is what the torch shouldering works now next we'll see the wave shouldering so see what do you mean by the wave shouldering so see in a bucket or in a tank take a tank in that tank what they do the liquid form of the flux is been added okay the liquid form of the 
flux okay the wave shouldering is a very popular approach of the shouldering through which uh, through the whole components or a printed circuit board this method of a use and tank in which the molten shoulder so see one small tank is there every you have seen the uh, electrical circuit okay so so complicated small 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 diodes resistance so many electricals uh, circuits uh, all the parts are been used diodes different types of diodes different types of transformers different types of resistance okay so each and every point to be shoulder there are the thousands of uh, circuits uh, electrical uh, what you can say the parts are been used okay there are thousands of parts are been used in a single circuit it is very difficult to shoulder a small small resistance okay for such types of shouldering uh, processes a uh, wave shouldering is a very important uh, very useful one okay what they do they place the different electrical components or the parts in that circuit and they dip into the tank in a liquid hot solid shoulder in which that within the tank okay dip at the upper surface so see you have seen the she show where the waves are coming sea waves are coming samudra cha lata etat bhali thari bartav thari bandanga tank na go hanga thari bartar shoulder do so how the waves are coming okay the waves have been maintained in such a manner that the waves upper surface can touch the bottom surface of the circuit and fills the shoulders within the gap between the <coughs> joints of the circuits okay the shoulder is pumped and it is flow forms the waves and predetermined uh, predetermined uh, height predetermined height means what the wave height is been already adjusted on that height only the wave should become and the printed circuit printed circuit means what already made a small small hole circuits in which the resistance are kept or the diodes are been placed okay that diodes and the resistance should join that circuit okay should join to that circuit that circuit is been placed on the wave upper surface when that wave touch it from the bottom of that circuit okay so it uh, it will be or it with the other lower side of that circuit and makes the joint this is what the <coughs> wave joint is been done okay this is what the simple procedure and the simple types or different types of the shouldering are there now let us see the advantage and the disadvantage of the shouldering so the advantage is a lower requirement lower temperature proce uh, processes hence no thermal distortion and the residual stresses in the joint <coughs> because the heat affected area is very less and uh, the heat releasing area is also very less <coughs> sorry so there is a no doubt uh, uh, more residual stresses will be generated over there okay so dissimilar part can be easily joined so different parts can be easily joined with the different properties thin parts can be joined okay over here because of the low temperature operation is there so thin parts can be joined what is the disadvantage the flux residue uh, residues should be removed after the shouldering otherwise which cause the corrosion so whatever the flux is been there uh, deposited over there it has to be removed otherwise that flux when it comes to the contact with an atmospheric uh, air so it can corrode it the thick parts cannot be efficiently joined thick parts cannot be efficiently joined only the smaller part can be joined over there shoulder shoulder joint cannot be used in a high temperature application okay so this is what the major disadvantage whatever the shouldering parts are been there which cannot be used at a high temperature for joining purpose the strength of the joint is very low okay now let us see what is an brazing and the types of brazing the brazing method is also a joining similar or dissimilar method okay it is also the same uh, joining method of similar or dissimilar method metals by means of the filler metal whose melting temperature is below 400 degree celsius so see over here the filler metal is also used over here okay but the filler metal is been used which is having the melting temperature below 450 degree celsius <coughs> but below the melting point of the base metal whatever the base metal is you are using 
below that the melting point should be there of the filler matter the filler matter also called over here splitter in the shoulder it is the filler matter is called as in shoulder in the brazing the filler metal is called as in splitter is is a non ferrous metal or an alloy the copper alloy silver and silver alloys and aluminum alloys are the most commonly used filler metals in this one okay now next the flow of the molten filler metal into the gap between the workpiece is drowned by the capillary force same force is been applied over here between the filler okay now let us see the flux used in the brazing the flux performs its usual function in has in the shouldering so whatever the function just now have told in the shouldering same functions is been applied in the brazing also it melts during the preheating stage and spreads over the joint so over here see uh, dear students keep in your mind in the uh, brazing shouldering some of the methods doesn't require preheating but in the brazing the preheating is must and should okay of the workpiece preheating means what before going for the brazing operation the workpiece is been heated in advanced okay <clears throat> then it is also cleans the surface resolving the metal oxidization okay the flux is work like in cleaning the surface and the metal oxidization the flux used in the brazing is available in the powder liquid and the paste form <coughs> okay the one method of applying the flux one method of applying the flux is in powder form it it to be dipped the heat and head of the filler rod into the container of an powder flux okay so so see whatever the filler rod is there that is been dipped okay into the powder of the <coughs> flux the flux which is in the powder form in that powder uh, container or the box in which the, that flux powder is been kept so the filler rod is been dipped in that one and it is been used for the brazing purpose okay allowing the flux to stick at the filler rod okay that powder is been allowing that is going to stick to that uh, filler rod okay and it is work is like an flux okay it has been used another method is to heat the base metal slightly so how the powder is been used so see by dipping the electrode into that powder uh, sorry filler metal into the powder okay when you dip the filler metal in the powder okay so it will stick to that filler rod this is the first method second method is that just uh, preheat or heat the workpiece which is to be joint and sprinkle the powder on it whatever the powder you are using you have to sprinkle on it okay then the powder will go and stuck to that joint and allow the flux to partially melt wherever the powder is been spring sprinkled that particular place the powder starts to <coughs> melt over there and stick to the base metal melt and stick to that base metal so this is how the flux is been applied in the brazing sometime it is then desirable to mix the powder a uh, flux with a clean water so you can for making and paste for making and paste so we can clean uh, mix that flux powder with an water so like this way the powder liquid and the paste form is been used as an flux so you see in the powder form the filler metal is been placed in that powder in the liquid form the workpiece is been heated okay preheated advance heating before the brazing the on that hot workpiece the powder is been sprinkled or in spread when the powder is spread on that hot <coughs> workpiece that powder starts to melt over the convert in the liquid form so this is how the liquid flux has been used <coughs> now the paste the powder is been mixed with the distilled water and make and paste that paste is been applied uh, on the workpiece for the working of an filler uh, flux okay the flux in either the paste or a liquid form can be applied with a brush to be joined okay either it is in a liquid form or the paste form it can be used by the brush to joint the better results occurs when the filler metal is also given a coated okay the better uh, results we can apply when the filler metal is been coated by that flux just like an in welding electrodes how it has been used the flux is coated to the iron rod okay the most common types of flux used is an bora bora is the most common type of flux which is been used <coughs> or a mixture of an borax 
with other chemical some of the commercial some of the commer okay okay some of the commercial foods a small amount of prosperous halogen salts or iodine uh, bromine iod salt of iodine okay bromine fluorescence chlorine or acetins when they these are the some of the common types of flux which are been used when a prepared flux is not available a mixture of 12 parts of boras and one part of boric acid may be used so this is how the flux <coughs> is been used in the brazing and how the flux is to be applied in the brazing so far you have studied <coughs> so now the types of brazing we will study in the next class okay the brazing is similar to the soldering the difference in the melting points of the filler alloys is only the change okay over here the filler alloy is been used up to 400 degrees celsius